Hello, welcome back to my channel. I am back and today I am going to be reviewing the Merit Matte Lipsticks. This is one of the, uh, this is the set that they have and it comes with four different beautiful lipsticks and the colors, I wrote them down because I have a terrible memory, but what comes in this is classic, I'm looking, Antibes, I don't even know if that's how you pronounce it, Antibes, A-N-T-I-B-E-S. Maison and Power. Those are the four that come in this set. And first of all, I love their packaging. It's like a velvety texture. It's beautiful. It's kind of a, I'm sure you could see it, but it's kind of like a gray color. Look at how beautiful those are. They did a really good job with their packaging. Um, I also have two other of their lipsticks, their matte lipsticks that I bought that are, aren't in this set that I'm going to try on and show you what the colors look like. Since I do not edit, um, since I'm, yeah, since I do not edit my videos, I'm just going to be trying it on, wiping it off, putting lip liner on, putting lipstick on, and that's how it's gonna go. I'm gonna put on my glasses real quick because I can't see which colors are which. All right, Antibes, Antibes. It's probably not even the, how you pronounce it. Maison, got that one right. And then Power, Power is my favorite. All right, Power. power the first one I'm gonna try on is my favorite and the last one. All right, so let's start. The first one we're gonna try on is Equestrian. This is what I would consider to be a pretty true brown. You see it? Equestrian. Like a person who rides a horse is an equestrian. <laughs> Whatever. So I'm going to use this other mirror to put on the lip liner because I can't see very well right here. I got some Neil Diamond in the background. Love Neil Diamond. Love him. You know what I just noticed looking in this up close mirror is I got some crazy nose hairs. It is time for a wax. Like they're out of control. Like they're, it's bad. I need to get them taken care of. I digress, digress. So now we're trying equestrian. The one thing I really like about these lipsticks is that, number one, they're matte. I don't do a shiny lipstick. I don't look good in a shiny lipstick. Um, I like a very classic look. Uh, someone once, I've said this so many times, but someone once asked me what my look was. Like, what kind of look are you going for? And I always, I always say, retired prima ballerina, because I'm 50. So think of like that classic French look is what I picture like a, I'm not saying I'm beautiful, but like a beautiful retired prima ballerina with a very classic look. That's that's my look. Equestrian. Oh, the other thing I really like about these is they're very velvety. That it goes on velvety smooth, and it's considered what's considered a one swipe type of lipstick where the color goes on so nicely you don't have to keep swiping and swiping and swiping. I'm gonna look in the other mirror. It's a beautiful brown. I really like this color. This is this is my, it might it's either my first or my second favorite from their, um, from their line. Equestrian. So we did equestrian. <laughs> like the person that rides a horse. All right, so that's coming off. My lips are gonna be so sore after this. All right, next we are doing Court. Court is described on their website as a, like a brick red. I would, I would consider it a terracotta, but terracotta is kind of a brick red, as so it's about the same. Um, I, yeah, I would consider it a terracotta type color. So I'm going to use this lip liner. This is Pout 
on point. Pat on point, I don't know what the color is. I will figure it out and I will put it in the description, but I actually really like this lip liner. That's the lip liner. Uh, that first lip liner I used with Equestrian is an old MAC. Look at, look at how old that is. It's probably like, it's so expired and it's probably gonna make my lips break out and something weird's gonna happen. It's the first time I've used it in probably years. I don't even know what the color is because it's like, it's where, what happened to this? Did, did it go through the washing machine? Like, how is it so scratched up? But yeah, this is, I know this is a MAC lip liner and it's like a, a brown. So yeah, this lip liner is pout on point. And I think I got this as a part of like one of those makeup subscription boxes and I, I was really happy about it. All right, so Court. Court is described as a brick red or I say a, like a terracotta. See, I think it's more terracotta. It's kind of like an orangey color. A terracotta is actually my favorite color in general. Um, more with like a little bit more brown than orangey. And then my other favorite color is like a sage green. I love the, like those earthy colors, earthy tones, earth tones. But yeah, so this is Court. It feels so good on. It feels so good on. When you are like around my age and your 50s, uh, you need, because of your aging lips, like our lips do crazy things at a certain age. I have filler in my lips because of it. Um, you can really appreciate a lipstick that just slides on and doesn't like stick in the lines and do weird stuff. Cause at a certain age, a lot of weird things happen to your body, to your face, to everything. Like just weird things happen and weird things happen to your lips when you age you actually lose a lot of volume in your lips if you go to my instagram i'll link it in the description uh you'll see a before and after picture before i got the filler and after and actually i'm gonna get a little bit more at the bottom because uh, i don't think that i'm still having some of the similar issues with with a little bit of feathering it's called um but it's they're a lot better you'll see the before and after pictures like it's a lot better. I mean, my lips weren't terrible, but I went from like really super full lips when I was younger to where people made fun of them um, to not having full lips as I got older. Again, this is Court, which is like a terracotta or a brick red. Uh, I say terracotta. So next we are gonna go with Classic. Classic is the next I almost said scent. The next uh, color. And this is um, a pinkish neutral. So I'm going to be using ColourPop Lippy pencil. Um, this color is... I am so freaking blind. Good and Plenty. I love ColourPop lip liner if you again if you are a woman of a certain age this is the lip liner you should be using it it goes on so well it goes on so well and it's very inexpensive um it went on better than this mac although this mac is probably 15 years old so that's probably the reason why that it goes on so well and i i can't remember how much it is but i i feel like it's less than ten dollars i could be wrong i will link it in the description uh so let me put the lip liner on Again, remember that I don't use any filters in my videos. I am against filters because what pisses me off more than anything else. Okay, this is so dramatic. I don't like watching beauty videos on, you know, like what foundation looks like on someone, what lipstick or I don't wear eyeshadow, but what certain things look like on people. And they're, they have a filter because they want to look so perfect. And then you go and try to use the same product and it looks nothing like that. I have wasted so much money in the past on shit, uh, crud 
bad word, crud products because I thought it was gonna make my skin, this is years ago, look so perfect, just to realize that these influencers used filters. So I do not use a filter. See, that's me lit up. Oh, that's so bright. I just turn it off because it's freaking bright. No filters at all. I, again, none. So these are the what it truly looks like. Uh, eh. <laughs> That's the lip liner. It's very pretty. I love these. I need, I don't really, I'm sure a lot of people are like this, but I, I'm the type of person, if I find something I really like, I want it in every single color. I don't care how much it costs. Okay. I'm not spending like hundreds and hundreds of dollars, but I just realized that I really like this lip liner. So I am going to go and buy it in every freaking color. And it's probably most likely going to be the only lip liners I use. Cause I absolutely love this. I, I love this brand. I love it. Um, I'm going to be using the same lip liner for the next three lipsticks. Cause they're all neutral like forms of neutral color. This one's more of a pinkish neutral. And again, this is classic. I know you might think that their other colors are similar, but honestly, they, they really do hit differently. I think hopefully you'll see like this one's more pinkish. The next one will be more brownish neutral. And then the next one will be like a reddish neutral. And then we're going to go to a true red. So this is classic, a pinkish neutral. Also to keep in mind, if you're using a lip liner, like my lip liner um, is kind of a brownish color. It's going to change the look of lipstick just a little bit. If you're doing like that a lot. I tried, I mean, I just did now, but I tried not to at first to show you the true color. I'll do a swatch. I have so much crud on my hand right now. I'll do, hold on. I'll do swatches on my hand in a minute to hopefully show the difference in, oh, maybe I'll do it on my chest right here. Since my skin's like pretty light colored right here. Like you could, I know it's a weird place to do a swatch, but I'm going to do it. All right, so again, that is classic. Freaking Merit. Merit did their lipsticks well. They did their lipsticks well. My lips are already getting sore. All right, I'm going to use the same lip liner. Or do I want to use, maybe, you know what, I'm going to use the ColourPop again. Not ColourPop, the Pout on Point again, because it's a little bit lighter. I do really like this as well. And because I don't know if you can see the way it's shaped, it's like a triangle. It actually goes on really, it kind of goes on a little bit better than your typical like tipped lip liner. Uh, I like the, the, the application better on this. Um, I will find this like on Amazon. Hopefully they sell it on Amazon um, and link it. Uh, so this might be like my second favorite lip liner. I used to be a huge fan of MAC lip liners, but I come to realize, and not just from this one, that they really do go on dry and you're, you're like yanking at it to get a good color. And uh, this was years ago. I haven't, except for the one I just used, I haven't used MAC lip liners in probably, sorry, 10 years. So maybe they've improved, I hope, but no. So even just this, you could probably just use this as a lipstick. I know it's a really pretty color. It's a neutral, it's a good neutral color. All right, next one is an Antibes. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. A N T I B E S. Antibes. This is more a brownish neutral. I know that like you probably think they all look the same. They kind of do. Do you see the difference? Like this is more of a pink. 
and that's more of a brown. This is that classic. I don't know if you can hear. There we go. See, a little more pinky. This is a little more browny. Let's make sure I'm putting it in the right case. Oh, so smooth. Again, like a one swipe. <laughs> My lips are burning, not from the lipstick, but from wiping them so hard. Uh, I have su Can I just wipe it down here? I have super sensitive skin, like really, really sensitive. This is in TBs. I'm just gonna call it that. It's If it's pronounced differently, please let me know. And A-N-T-I-B-E-S, and TBs. So a brown, more of a brownish neutral. Oh, these feel, so, I'm gonna keep saying it. They feel so good on my lips. They do not dry out. And that's a that's an important thing for anybody that wears lipstick, but especially when you're a little bit older uh, because our skin gets a little bit drier and uh, things like you want it to be nice and smooth. I'm gonna try to get this off really good because I have a Maison coming up. Oh, my poor lips. Mm -hmm. My hair, my hair is thinned so much. Um, I lost a bunch of weight and lost a lot of hair during the process. And so it's, I usually, like I've lost half of the volume of my hair. Normally my hair is super thick and I wear it like in a bob. And I normally have to go and get it thinned out because it's just so thick and now it's very thin. So it's starting to grow back. I've been taking um, biotin and upping my collagen. So that's been helping, but yeah, my poor hair. I can see my scalp a little bit more. My scalp's saying, hello, I'm here. Again, I'm using the Pout on Point lip liner. So this one's gonna be more of a reddish, brownish, neutral. It kind of like they they go from like the set. We're talking about these are part this the last two that I've done has been part of this set. I should have probably said that. So it kind of starts out like a pinkish neutral, a brownish neutral and then a more brownish reddish neutral, and then goes to a red, like a red, which I love. This is, uh, has probably a little bit more of an orange in it. It's almost, I feel like it's close to court. So I'm gonna, so this is Maison, and let's compare it to Antibes. So it's a little bit more brown, but then let's compare it to Equestrian, which is what I consider a true brown. Hmm, my lips hurt. So you see, this is Equestrian, which is the true brown. This is a, like a neutral brown. And then let's compare it to Classic, which I was calling a terracotta, and they call it like a brick. A brick red? Okay, that's a big difference. Yeah. So that does really, that looks like a terracotta brick red. Again, this is more of a, so Maison, on their website, they call it a berry. They consider this more of a berry. So let's consider this a berry color. I don't think it's a true berry, but it's, it's freaking beautiful. All their, all their colors are beautiful. All of them. All of them. The only one I don't have, there's two of their lipsticks in their matte line that I don't have and one's like a really pink I don't like pink and one's a red like a more of a classic red that I just don't think that it would look good on me so I haven't bought those this is Maison which is considered a berry let's there we go and this is coming off I don't know what that was. My 
this shirt is annoying me. All right, now we're trying power and it's called power for a reason because it is a gorgeous, bright, like classic red. Beautiful, I believe this form of red has like the blue hue mixed in it because there's a difference between like a stiletto red and a, like a classic red. Um, I had a lip liner. Okay, so this lip liner I'm using is NARS. Pre NARS Precision Lip Liner. I don't know where the name of it, the name of the color. I'm gonna put on the trusty glasses because I am blind. It says Rouge Moroccan. but I don't think that's the color. I know I got this off of um, Amazon, so I will link it in the description. I just don't know what the name of it is right now, but I'll link it in the description. I'm gonna turn on. My music stopped. Oh, there's that nose hair. It's literally hanging outside of my nose. I feel like a clown whenever I put a red lip liner on. All right, so this is NARS lip liner and this is power. I consider this like a brick red. Sorry. Um, yeah, I consider this a brick red. Um, maybe this is, yeah, hold on, let me turn, because I feel like there's a glare. It's a very pretty color. I call this like a Taylor Swift red. I just spit on myself. Like a Taylor Swift red. Oh, there's the aging, you see that? Now you know I don't have filters on. There's the, the age showing up around my eyes. And I don't know what's going on over there. So, by the way, I haven't had anything else done to my face. Uh, I have a very regimented skincare routine that I started about two years ago. And it has completely transformed my skin. I used to get really, really bad cystic acne. There we go. I used to get really bad cystic acne. That picture is on my Instagram as well, the before and after. And this is like a year a year difference. I mean, it was bad. It was bad. I can't believe I don't have scarring, but I think t people who typically get acne scarring is because they've suffered from acne for a, a long period of time. I never got acne as a child or as a teenager. You know when I got acne? When I was like 45 years old in my forties, that's when I got acne and it like was crazy. It was so bad. It was so bad. You'll see the pictures, but because I didn't have it for many many years I think that's what saved my face from the scarring um because I don't have any acne uh, I might have a little bit like I had something right there I think that might be from a, a recent like zit or something um not the herp I don't have the herp uh but I get blackheads <laughs> like near my lips and you're probably like yeah that's what I'd call them too I'd call them blackheads but it's the herp it's not the herp uh, but I think this might be an old scar. And then I have like an old scar right up here somewhere. Let's see if we can find it. I don't know. But anyways, I got lucky and I don't have acne scars, but my skincare routine is so regimented that like, I mean, I'm obsessed, obsessed with it. And, uh, there's a video on my channel that talks about that shows you my nighttime skincare routine because my nighttime is uh to me is way more important than my daytime skincare routine that's when i put all the crazy crap on my face i haven't done a video yet of my daytime skincare routine and i usually typically do it not when i first wake up but about an hour or so before i'm going to put on makeup if i don't wear makeup that day i i do a lighter version of it 
but if I put on makeup, then I do like exfoliate. I do a bunch of stuff so that my skin is smooth to put makeup on. But I haven't had any filler. I haven't, I've never even had a professional facial done, which is crazy because you would think if I'm so obsessed with my skin, um, I would have, but I just never have. Um, not yet. I am not above doing any filler um, or Botox or anything. I obviously got filler in my lips. Um, I am probably gonna go and get some laser done because I have lost weight, but I have that, well, this. It's this, it's not a double chin. It's what happens when you age. <laughs> I, I don't have a good angle, but it's the one like saggy piece that you get when you become, when you turn 50 and older and it, and there's laser treatments that can help <laughs> tighten up. Um, I'm also not, I would never get a full facelift, but they have like, like tightening where it's like <laughs> probably in my sixties. I don't know. I, I'm, it may be a little bit vain, but I always say your face is your focal point. When I used to be, when I was heavy, um, I was really heavy only for a short period of time. And it was, it happened because of the cancer treatments. Uh, I had stage two uterine cancer and um, the treatments that I did completely shut down my metabolism, my entire system. So I couldn't process food correctly. And so even if I hardly ever ate and I was throwing up all the time because of the side effects, I gained 45 pounds in a year. Um, and I could not get it off because of the fact that my metabolism never started back up once I went into remission. And it, so it doesn't always happen that way, but it happened to me. And um, so it didn't matter if I exercised, it didn't matter. I could have done hardcore diets. I, I went vegan for four months for health reasons and I lost seven pounds. And I'm talking hardcore vegan and no junk food, nothing. And I lost seven pounds in four months. Um, so that's why the doctor suggested uh, gastric bypass. And it wasn't because I was so heavy that I had to get it. I was 222 pounds. That is really heavy for someone of my height. I am five foot tall. But uh, oddly enough, I almost didn't make the cutoff for the weight. Like I wasn't heavy enough. It was because of the other health factors. Um, I was, because of the weight coming on so fast, it threw me into metabolic disorder, which leaves you at an extremely high risk for a uh, heart attack and stroke. I was diabetic to the point where I didn't need insulin, but I was on metformin. And of course I had to check my uh, blood sugar every day. My cholesterol, everything was crazy because my body could not regulate anything. And so what happens when you get gastric, we're going into, you know, this was supposed to be a lipstick uh, thing, but we're just going there. Uh, the interesting thing about gastric bypass is it, when you have it done, it stimulates certain hormones in your stomach and it resets your metabolism. This is why you're able to lose weight initially pretty fast. Also, yeah, granted your stomach is smaller, but it, here's the thing. The size of your stomach doesn't matter if you're putting the wrong type of food in your mouth. There are so many people and a large amount of people end up gaining all of their weight back after gastric bypass, even if they have a stomach that big, because the size of the stomach doesn't matter. You have to, we're going to this tangent now, you have to relearn how to eat. I didn't have a major problem with food. Um, if I look back, I probably ate big portions, but I think most of us do. Um, I just couldn't lose weight. And so what it did is it reset my metabolism and I lost the first like 30, five pounds really quickly and then I lost weight probably at the no a normal rate of someone a normal person who diets and exercises like I think an average of like eight pounds a month I've lost 77 pounds over eight months so that's less than 10 pounds a month um granted like I said I lost the first 30 pounds really quick that's why I lost hair because my body is like what the f um and I'm still waiting for it to grow, start growing back more. Anyways, that was a big old tangent. I can't remember why I started talking about that. I do that sometimes, but eh, I'm gonna wrap up this video. So we went into like a lot of tangents when I was just telling you how wonderful these Merit uh, lipsticks are. So uh, yeah. 
So you got a little education today. But anyhow, please like this video. Please comment if you have any questions if you about their lipsticks um, or any of the other products. I use um, a few other of their products. They're like contour sticks. Um, contour and I can't remember what else. Anyways, uh, I love their products. Merit's one of my favorite makeup companies, uh, hands down. They just make really good quality products. Um, I will link everything below. I don't, what I'm going to link for the Merit stuff is just straight from their website. I don't make any money from it. I'm not in a partnership with them. This is not in any way an ad. Uh, I would love to be in a partnership with them, uh, but I'm not that important yet. I don't have enough uh, followers and stuff like that. So that being said, can you please uh, subscribe to my channel so I can get free lipstick and then I can show you more cool stuff. But no, uh, I don't get anything for this. It's just informational because I'm passing on what I love. You know, when you turn a certain age, it's it gets hard to find uh, makeup that sits well on your face and, you know, doesn't settle in the wrinkles and stuff like that. And I know it may not look it so much, but I have all the under eye stuff. And again, no filter. I don't know why I'm doing this because I don't know if that would fix it. That would prove it. No filter. So um, what you see is what you get. And uh, again, I'm a big fan of these lipsticks. You should you should check them out. They, they're worth the money. I don't think they're that expensive. They're in the 20 some odd dollar range, which is very typical for um, non drugstore brand, you know, brands. Uh, but get the set. The set's really cool. And it's, I love this case. I love it. It's just, it's soft. I want to pet it all day. Anyhow, I'm done. Again, my name is Beck. Please like, please comment, please subscribe. Even if you're not that interested in what I have to say, I would greatly appreciate it. And have a good day.